potassium. The, the elements this then have very similar chemistries, but their relative reactivity. reactivities then change a little bit. Um, and so, if I get this one out. Is this the liquid you keep in? That's just what I said, actually. Mineral oil. It's usually mineral oil or kerosene. So you could light that on fire <laughs> and throw it in the lake. Yeah, this has really got really bad crusties on it. Ooh. But you'll see that this, this will... Shiny. cheese. Do <laughs> you see how fast that one goes? Yeah. And, and when you put it in, this sometimes sparks a little bit. It's, it's pretty reactive. The other thing is you got to be careful because sometimes it forms a... Uh, I know someone who's... A crust that... Ooh. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> My grandfather had a friend who stole some and got put in a police car with it. Or he, they didn't know he had it in his back pocket. And it just got wet and caught the back of the car on fire. Uh, potassium, they did blow it off. Uh, potassium then burns with a very characteristic violet flame. Yeah. You saw the, the, those emission spectra, and each element yeah. had its own fingerprint. <clears throat> Iron has that yellow, magnesium has that white, potassium has this uh, violet. Purple. And sodium then has a yellow <laughs> color. Do things burn with the same?